We are here in Madonna Beach, and there's Bonita absolutely everywhere. I got one on right here. There's followers. This is amazing. It's, I mean, it's not amazing. I see this every day, but it's pretty darn cool. Try to get some footage here. There's a Bonita right there. On the swim bait. Sexy smell. I'm going to take him out. Right. It's through the roof. We drop down here. They're pushing micro bait right in here. Just pushing, pushing, pushing. It's amazing stuff right there. It's really good stuff. We came in. They're just breezing around. We'll see them here every day. Uh, we don't catch them every day, though. You know, they'll roll through. We don't usually get them. That's how Je Jeffrey's fishing it, just a real slow retrieve. Sometimes we get them when they're really aggressive. They'll come in and they'll eat the really fast retrieve. But on days like today, probably going to get them on the slow retrieve. thing just came out of nowhere and chewed it. So, good start to the day. We were here last night. Killed the sand bass right at dark. Uh, got four fish, real big fish. Jeffrey got a big spotted bay bass. Unfortunately, we lost that footage. But here we are. Beautiful day. We're down to Beach, California, sneaking around the docks. Hopefully, we're not going to get kicked out because it looks like the fishing is going to go. We're here uh, walking along. We just had Harbor Patrol kind of following us for a sec. I think we lost them, though. They're out there. They parked their boat at the end of the dock. How are you guys doing today? How are you? Yeah, we'll catch some of We're here at the Blue Water Grill spot. We're fishing for calico bass. This spot right here is really pretty much strictly a calico bass spot. We will on occasion uh, pick a sand bass, sometimes a halibut off this spot, but it's 90% of the fish we catch are calico bass. At night, sometimes we'll get a, some big uh, sand bass. But during the day, it's all calico bass. As you can see, we work all the way down the shoreline. There's a lot of boats, little dinghies, little skiffs tied up all along here. And what I do is I take my plastic and I'll just flip it right in between the cracks there. It's all about accuracy. I'll let it sink out and I'll start a slow retrieve. It's all about covering a lot of water. The objective is to just keep moving and flip it into all the cracks. A lot of times you'll have a have the calicos come out from under the dock and chew it. Just depends on the day, depends on the time of year, and it depends on really how the fish are feeling. So right here is a big hammer switching grub. It's a bait that's been around for a while, but most people don't know about it, haven't heard about it. But it's really a very effective bait. Right now we have it rigged on little small, small weedless head, and we've got it just kind of rigged on like a swim bait. And what we're doing here, as Jeffrey will show you, we're just flipping it in, just like I was showing you back there, flipping it right into the water. And what Jeffrey's doing is he's just kind of hopping it along the bottom. It's a small bait, so you're just kind of dragging it over the rocks, like a little sculpin or some sort of little goby or a little crab or shrimp-like creature. There's a lot of crazy little stuff in these harbors that nobody sees. So he's just working it real softly. Last night we were having some really good luck on this bait after dark. Had a couple of sand bass come on it. And, and the thing about this bait is it's easy to pitch. It's got some weight to it. And you can get it into these tight cracks and you can work it almost in a vertical presentation. So you can cover uh, less water but you can fish it a lot more deliberately. There's Jeffrey just flipping it right in there. Right by the dock. Something that we've kind of perfected over the years is getting the baits underneath the dock. And that can be the key, especially in the day, the calico bass and all the other species of bass, uh, they hide in the shade of the dock. Not real necessarily hide, but they take shelter from the bright, direct sunlight. And if you can get it under the dock, you'll find that the fish are going to be a lot more inclined to eat it. It's a, they're not going to have to expose themselves. So we're just going to work that bait along here. We're going to work this whole shoreline, and we're going to work over there. All these spots hold fish at some point during the year, at some point during the day. And over the years, I guess the couple years we've been fishing here, we fished it so much that which slips to spend time at, which, which slips to be deliberately targeting. So we skip some stuff because we just know that it might not be as productive. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Benita coming in right here.
got the Benita coming in right yeah, here. Yeah, I see them. Thank you. See they're breathing right there. Oh yeah, there they are. As you can see, see we got the right Benita breezing around right now in the harbor. On one of the slips. We got Evan casting on them with the swim bait. Hopefully we can catch one. Fishing for mountains. Breathing all. And here they are. Just a massive school of fish right here. Those are all Bonita for you guys. Just moseling along here. Look at all those fish right here. Oh my god. Oh my just god. Just incredible. Oh, oh, a mackerel. It's just amazing how many fish there are here right now. Just breezing along. Really not interested in feeding too much. There's one that's kind of a little interested. Really what we're having happen here is, you know, you'll get a couple fish that look like they're a little more interested in feeding. Oh, I got a follower. Oh, he's got a follower. This is just... The volume of fish, as I've said, is just amazing. You know, usually when we're in here, we, we really target bass. But we're just having so much fun right now with just playing with these bonita. Just looking at them, it's, just, it's a pleasure to see. And, you know, ideally, what we'd like to see happen here, you know, guys coming in here, the fly fishermen, the light tackle guys, and they'll have a great time with it. Instead, you know, you're going to get the guys to come in here and they just want to kill every fish. And I know I sound, I kind of sound a little radical, but I, I advocate the release of pretty much every fish I catch, with the exception of maybe one yellowtail or one white sea bass or a halibut a year. But, you know, I, I fish purely for sport. So, what the heck is that? Say a little beat up Spanish mackerel or something. Let's see, don't smack him. Yeah, it's a little beat up Spanish mackerel. Look like something tried to take a bite out of him. Don't smack him. Alrighty, but well, we're checking in with you here in a bit. Beautiful Redondo Beach, California. Yeah. All right. What do you have to say about today, Jeffrey? What do you think? It's a pretty good day. It is a good day. Look at this, you guys. These are all bonita right here. This is just straight bonita right here. Redondo Beach. Look at all this freaking thing. We got Evan here passed out somewhere on the dock on the Zodiac. And Bonita is still around. Evan's kinda tired. And he just oh. <laughs> He just hit his head on the railing for the second time today.